Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Today, I wanted to do something differently, of course, because today I want today's lesson time to come from you. So, what lessons have you drawn from that you have learned? In the last week, in the last couple of weeks, while being here today, what lessons have you learned?、Hmm. Right? So I am going to let these lessons come in and I am going to read them out loud so that we all can remember that there's lessons amongst us all. So that's what I want our lesson time today to consist of. So, Nicola says, don't feel a need to fit in with others. Ooh, I love that. That is very powerful, Nicola. I love that, and it's true. Sean, AI is taking over, and we're all going to lose a job. Is that a lesson? I hope that's not a lesson. I hope that's not true. I think we humans still need humans. So let's hope that's not true. <laughs> I had no idea what circle of influence was until I read Allison's book. That's a great lesson. Now, Nicola, you have to share a little bit more. So, those of us who haven't read Allison's book, we can partake in your lesson. So, flesh that out a little bit more, my baby. I'm Jose. I have learned that everything happens for a reason and everything falls right into place if you let it. So true. I. Two million percent agree with you, Jose. Everything happens for a reason, and I too am grateful to be reminded of that today. So, thank you, Jose. This too shall pass, right? Whatever situation you're in, this too shall pass. LG, in the last week, I have been faced with many challenges, and I would always complain why I always feel so targeted. But I realize that everything happens for a reason and to use as a tool for growth. Bravo, LJ. I love how it piggybacked off of Jose. And it's true, it's not happening to us, it's happening for us. It's happening for us to get stronger and bolder and more courageous and more vulnerable and more involved in our own life. I am so proud of you. Mac James, hard work and dedication will always pay off. Bravo and yes, yes, yes. True story, right? Sarah, you can borrow confidence from something and use it for something new that you want to do. Oh, my Sarah, baby doll, that makes me so happy that you've learned that lesson, assumingly, from this channel and that one video on confidence. So, thank you for learning from. My little videos. I am so grateful to hear that. A lesson you've learned, CJ, never judge a book by its cover. So true, right? Everybody can be so different once you get to know them, right? So I'm glad that Dar has gotten through to y'all and y'all uphold that lesson, right? Not to judge a book by its cover. Sean, what's your lesson? I just. That we should all have options too. That AI and humans, we can settle our differences, get along. That's just my point of view. Believe. So, if I can reframe that in a lesson, it's like believe that even though our points of view can be different, that we can still all coexist. We can still all work towards a common good. And I don't want to put words in your mouth, but that's what I got out of what you shared in the comments. So, thank you, Sean. Another lesson I have learned is we all can unite together. And become a wonderful community. Oh, I love that, CJ. I love that. So true. We are stronger in numbers. Look at us all here, right? How good does it feel to come back here and have each other? And these numbers make us happy, right? So I am very proud of you, CJ. Okay, Nicola is g o n n a go a little deeper on the circle of influence. So, per Allison, Circle of influence is where proactive people focus on efforts and themselves by finding ways to work and improve on themselves, which helps them grow. A good self awareness. Very cool. So I'm glad you got that from Enoughness, which is Allison's book. So check it out. We love Allison. I miss Allison. I can't wait to see her next. Ooh, Mona. This week I learned to give new changes a chance. Ooh, this is powerful, everybody. Tune into this lesson. Okay, Mona. This week, I'm saying it again because this is powerful. 
This week, I learned to give new changes a chance instead of being so closed off. It helped when others prayed over the positivity of changes. I love that because what it does, Mona, as I think you're experiencing right now, is that it reduces our rigidity, right? Rigidity, like when we're like firm and hard and tough, and then like nothing can get past us. So what happens? We break. And I am reading this book by Bruce Lee. It's called Be Like Water. And in it, he talks about the example of the oak tree versus the bamboo tree. The oak tree is so rigid that when a big windstorm comes in, it breaks. A bamboo is so fluid that when a big windstorm comes, it flows. So I love that, Mona. It just triggered that example for me from what I am right now currently experiencing and, you know, reading. And so thank you for sharing that, Mona. That was very powerful. Oh, Nicola, you learned if people don't invite you to things, don't ask if you can join. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. The reason why I want to sit with that for a moment is because I want to reframe that a little bit. Because in the way you positioned it, Nicola, as a reader, I am taking it as like you're giving away your power a little bit, right? How can we reframe that so that you can feel powerful in a situation when you're not invited, right? Maybe instead of not asking to join, maybe you create your own opportunity and invite other people. Doesn't that kind of shift things a little bit and it makes you feel a little bit stronger, a little bit more like in your own and you're not like, Ooh, I'm not invited, I can't go. It's like, okay. I wasn't invited. What do I want to create? Maybe an event, a movie night, you know, and have people come to that so that you become the organizer of an event. I don't know. Cut it on for size. I just kind of want to reframe it so that we always come from a, a more empowered stance. That was my goal with reframing that a bit. And I hope that's okay with you, Nicola. I'm not trying to diminish or disregard your lesson. I just want it to come from a place of power, if that's okay. Okay, Manny the YouTuber. In the last week, I have had social anxiety and I realized that I have to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Bravo and beautiful, Manny the YouTuber. Thank you for being so vulnerable to share that with us. And thank you for imparting your lesson on us this week. That's very powerful. And I am grateful that we're kind of in a little bit of a similar situation and how we can still show up and have a genuine smile and work through it despite whatever sadness or frustration or disappointment or loss we could be experiencing, right? Oh, Sarah, I also learned that it's okay to let your emotions out. Woohoo! Yeah! I love that. Yes, I agree. I think it's powerful. Do you see how I let go of some tears and you all consoled me? And do you see how I got my power back? I feel stronger now because I let go of the weakness I was feeling, like that knot in my belly I was feeling. I let that go. It was disempowered with your help. Do you see how when we let it out, we can become stronger? How cool is that? And I commend you all and I thank you all for being here and for helping me today. So thank you for your lesson. Thank you so much. These are amazing, I'm so happy. Okay, a lesson is that Darman has been working hard for a while, true story. <laughs> you see how difficult it is to create these stories for all of us to enjoy and the amount of effort, energy, talent, skill, logistics, planning, organization, the amount of all of that that goes into creating one video, let alone four to five a week, let alone for different channels, let alone, he is incredible. And I really commend him for his gumption, his resilience, his determination, his discipline, his business brain. I mean, let's give Darman a huge bravo because we have seen how easy it is to not do something by the experiences we see coming forth, right? So yes, that's a huge lesson. LJ, I have social anxiety, but I learned that I can experience true freedom when I don't allow others to define who I am and allow myself to be who I am. 
Boyaka. Amazing and powerful and wise. And LJ, have you picked up my book? Because this is going to be a plug for my book. If you have social anxiety, anxiety overall, this is why I wrote the book because I have had it my whole life. And I've learned so many little tips and tricks <laughs> on how to reduce it. So I hope you'll check it out. And if you have already, thank you for leaving a message, a comment, a review on Amazon. It really means the world because I want this book to get out to more people. So for all of you who've already picked it up, thank you. CJ says, we can change the world with so much positivity and become something more powerful than ever. Oh, CJ, that's beautiful. I love that we did this today. Is it okay that we did this and we did like a role reversal and y'all, I am loving these lessons. I think y'all are incredible. Y'all are like powerful and I love you all. So thank you for sharing your lessons. Sub-Zero, I've learned that life is too short, true story, to keep wondering what if, uh-huh. Some people are not here with us being here is a privilege given to us by God. Beautiful, beautifully said. I love that. LJ, the best feelings come from giving rather than receiving. The greatest gift one can receive is a smile and gratitude from the person you've helped knowing that you made a difference. Beautiful, that is so beautiful. Yeah, y'all have given me so much today and I hope that I can give back equally as much, right? That's the flow, give and receive. Let's see, have you been working out often? Every time I see you, it inspires me to work out. And I know if I work hard like you, I can achieve my goals. Oh my God, okay, there is a lesson in that. Okay, Mac James. I know that if I can work hard, I can achieve my goals. I love that. And it's not just about working hard, right? It's about working smart and working right. And that I learned from Dean Graziosi, who you know I so love and cherish. So I can't take credit for that, but he has certainly taught me to work smart and work right, not just hard, right? There's only so much you can hit your head against the wall if something's not working, but if you find a way to do it better or you find a more efficient way to get it done, you're working smarter, right? So you have more energy left, so you're not banging your head against the wall each time. And that's how you get things accomplished. So yes, Mac James, rock it. Ooh, Josh, another Morocco moment. Sometimes failure is more instructive than success. Oh yeah, God. that is very cool. Always go after your dreams. CJ, I love that. Don't be afraid mm -mm -mm, to go after your dreams. Sarah, I learned to reframe my anxiety into something good instead. Oh, booyaka, right? Reframe it. It's there to serve you. It's there. It's like a good stress and a bad stress, right? It's your friend. Make friends with it instead of having it be your enemy. When it's your enemy, what's it going to do? It's going to pull you down because that's what enemies do. That's what haters do. When it's your friend, you're like, come on, let's go have a, a tea together. <laughs> let's go have a boba. Let's go have, you know, some french fries. Make it your friend. I love that. Thank you for reminding us. Sarah, baby doll of that. LJ, let's see. Letting your emotions out also brings clarity into your mind. Yes, it's so true. It sure did for me. You, you witnessed it live, y'all. You saw what happened live, right? Pretty wicked cool. You also taught me, oh, Sarah, look at me, look at you. You also taught me not to engage in drama and don't give them the satisfaction of getting to me. It's so true. And Sarah, I'm glad you learned that because I'm gonna talk about that. That was gonna be my lesson that I shared. But I'm glad we did it the way we did it. So do I save that lesson? I don't know, Sarah, you really propped me up perfectly for it. I think what I want to say about that is that, y'all, we did a video, right? Fear is an addiction, right? So is drama. So is sadness. These things can be addicting. They're vices. They're, you know, you get like a high almost. And I think I felt that this week where like, I don't succumb to drama. I'm not, I don't want drama. I try to like... No, but sadness. Sometimes from my past, I could find myself wanting to be sad. Really? Why? It doesn't feel good. Why do I want to be sad? And I discovered for myself this past week 
that there was a little bit of like an addiction to wanting to feel sad and that hurt. I was like, oh, smack dog. That's messed up because I don't want to feel sad. But there was a little bit of a tinge of like, oh, okay, I feel sad. This this feels like heavy. I don't know. I can't describe it. And I'm going to dig deeper into this. And this is why, you know, releasing the energy, why releasing the emotions, why crying, tearing up. How, this is why it's so powerful because you can go into these places and be like, wow, why am I feeling the need to remain sad? Am I addicted to the sadness? It gave me like a high, you know, 20 years ago, whatever, when I was depressed. Am I trying to pull that back up? I don't know. It went to a really weird place. So thank you for letting me share that with you. But that's my truth. That was what I was feeling this week. And it was really interesting. So I'm going to sit with that a little bit more. And when I come up for air, and I have some answers around that or some epiphanies around that, I want to come back and share them with you all. Because I think for those moments when we do get sad, we got to make sure that we're not like wallowing in the sadness because it's giving us something that we got some kind of like, I don't know what else other word to use, but like that, like sugar high, you know, like that high that we once felt at one point. But we've evolved, right? We're no longer that person. So how could we use that sadness in a different way? So I really want to explore this. And apparently this is the situation I've been challenged with to do it with. So it's going to be interesting in the coming weeks how I work through this and how I share that with you all. So thank you for that. Thank you for creating a safe space for me to do that. So Mona, thank you. So I want to show you this and I don't want to keep you all because I want us all to enjoy our Friday, but I did want to, this is one, right? I upgraded to this and you're like, what is that? I'm going to show it live what you super chatters have so generously contributed to the channel. Y'all, look at this. It's our new singing bowl. So this is our upgraded singing bowl. Okay, so everyone mind your ears. Maybe I'll move away from the mic a little bit. And this is the new singing bowl. So this is a Fry Fam singing bowl. Two. <laughs> so here we go. Sounds angelic, Nicola. Do you like it? You guys gave it to the channel. All you super chatters rock. Y'all rock. However, I always say that, you know, it's it's a contribution to the channel. So I wanted you to see what it is. There we go. Thank you everybody who's contributed to this. Thank you all. Then there's yet another one. So I love our new singing bowl. I hope you do as well. Y'all are incredible. Thank you for being here. Uh, let's keep growing Giovanna's channel and becoming one happy, beautiful community. Thank you, CJ, for that. That makes me so happy. I am delighted. Y'all really turned my frown upside down. <laughs> so I thank you all. All right, my loves. Have a great beautiful Friday, weekend yay, Saturday yay, whatever day yay is for you. And I shall see you on Monday yay. Bye, a video. <laughs> Big love y'all. Happy weekend. So if you like this video, 
go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel, so keep watching.